Hey friends, it's Leslie at Lemon Grove Lane. Today I'm going to talk to you about dishwashers, probably one of the most neglected appliances in your kitchen. If you're noticing that your dishes are not getting as clean as they used to, or if you're picking up kind of a musty smell in your dishwasher, chances are that your filter needs to be cleaned, and also the rim of the inside of the dishwasher. So today I'm going to go into my dishwasher, and I'm going to show you how I clean out my filter, how to remove the filter safely in your dishwasher, and we're also going to talk about products to use to clean the dishwasher. So here's what you're going to need. Over here I have some distilled white vinegar baking soda and we're going to make like a paste and you'll need like a little sponge with a little scrubber on the back so that you can wash the rubber rim on the inside of your dishwasher. I also love these. These are wonderful for cleaning the filter. Uh, the bristles are really stiff and it helps to get that gunk out that's in the filter mesh. I also recommend using some good wipes for the outside of the dishwasher. Um, I have a panel dishwasher, but these work great just for cleaning the exterior. I also love to use a gentle spray and then just a liquid soap. So these are some of the things that I use when I clean my dishwasher. Now, toxic chemicals. I, I'm going to be honest with you. I have some bleach. I do sometimes resort to that, but I try to do it very infrequently. My goal is to use all green cleaning products. Um, and I think one of the, the best ways to try to do that is by frequently cleaning because when you do that, uh, just wiping things down frequently, things don't have, dirt doesn't have this, the chance to accumulate the same way that it does when you neglect things for a while. So if you allow your filter to go uncleaned for a long period of time, you're going to have a bigger mess to clean up and you may need to resort to using those harsh chemicals. So anyway, I'm going to take you inside my, my dishwasher. We'll talk about how to remove that filter first and get that clean. So here we go. All right, so I've opened the door of my dishwasher and I'm just gonna pull out the drawer, the bottom drawer. And if you look in the back, you're going to see the spinner where the water comes out and then you're also going to see a, a round object. That's your filter. So you're just gonna grab that. Sometimes it comes out just separately on its own. Sometimes it comes out with, like mine does, it comes out with this other filter. So this is the part that I'm gonna focus on cleaning on. Uh, right now and then I will work on the inside of the dishwasher. So mine isn't very dirty because I do clean it regularly but all kinds of stuff, hair and food can get lodged in that area so you really need to make sure that that's clean so that everything can be filtered out. So let's clean this, this first and then we'll go inside the dishwasher and clean the inside. Okay so I do wear gloves when I clean off this kind of stuff because it's got some hair and yucky stuff on here so you can see the debris that's coming off on my sponge. So this is just going to require a light clean because it's not too dirty and you want to make sure that you get around all the sides and if it's really dirty you can use one of these little scrubbers and that gets into the crevices. I'm just going to make sure this is good and clean. And the inside of here, it's hard to photograph that, but you might be able to see the stuff coming out and going down my sink. So just make sure that you scrub inside the filter as best you can. All right, so I put inside my measuring cup just about a quarter cup of baking soda, and then I'm just gonna add a splash of vinegar, the white vinegar. And you just probably want to use a two to one ratio. So I would say probably one part vinegar to two parts baking soda. You're just going to stir that up and we're going to use this to clean the inside of the dishwasher, the rubber seals. All right, so there's the drain. And I tried to get a close up of this. So I'm going to put rubber gloves on because this is kind of gross to do. And then you're going to just use that vinegar and baking soda and I'm just gonna use it to rub the outside of the dishwasher like this. And the inside, I'm gonna get the rubber sealants. Make sure you get in through here, all around the spinner where the water comes out. And then you can use your gentle spray for this part as well as a liquid soap. So I, I like to do that as well. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and just add a little bit of this soap. I'm gonna use some Mrs. Meyers dish soap and I'm just gonna scrub, keep scrubbing all this until it's nice and clean. So I'm gonna get up through here and all the way down into the dishwasher. And then you can just use a towel just to kind of dry this area off down here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and rinse everything off and then put the filters back in. So now I have two pieces to put back. I'm just gonna put this right on top here, that's the easiest. And then this just simply slides right in here like this, just like that. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to get this filter out, especially if it's been a while since you've cleaned it <clears throat> because there's a lot of gunk in there and it kind of sticks. But it should just come out pretty easy and then you're done, that's it. Everything's all clean. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this and can't wait to do my next load of dishes. It's gonna smell so good and the dishes will be really clean. Okay friends, that wraps up today's video. I hope that you got some good cleaning tips for your dishwasher by watching today. If you have any more questions, please ask. I'm happy to help you. You can write comments and questions in the comment section below. Also, I will put up the link to the blog post I wrote on this topic. And if there's any other th questions or, uh, or topics that you'd like for me to discuss in my YouTube videos or on my blog, please let me know. I'm happy to try to address those. So until next time, stay well.